When everyone's feeling the rhythm in the same way and the energy is, is happening, it's really, really exciting. And I think, I think they were starting to feel that. You know, playing a few times today, playing a few gigs recently, you know, when, it, when it's feeling really good, you can kind of see them looking around and like smiling. And, and that's the feeling that I'm hoping that they take through. It's a really special feeling to have connections through something as awesome and fun as music. Yeah, so Armadale Singer High School has a incredible music rich history. It started with a teacher called Don Cook in the 70s and 80s. He built a concert band program here over those 20, 30 years. When I first came here, I found all these awards everywhere and pictures, what has gone on here? And then I talked to teachers in the community and they were like, oh yeah, Armadale Senior High School used to have a, a vibing band back in the day. And so I did some research, found the teacher and I had a chat with him and he just told me all about it. And I kind of just decided that I wanted to kind of reinvigorate that band. The introduction to Armadale Senior High was through Ania. She asked us to come out and do a workshop for the kids, I think about three years ago. You know, talented kids in, in the program and, and sort of talking to Anir about what she sort of had planned for the, for the music program here and what she's trying to start. And I just thought, Wajo should be part of it. The musicians who come through high schools are the musicians who then come into Wajo. So we're sort of investing in our future. And then, you know, they pass through Wajo and they hopefully go to WAPA and then become a professional musician so you know the right situation at the right time we just started to we, we made it happen the, the confidence in the kids has grown you know a huge amount from the start where they you know wouldn't talk to me or you know were very nervous and like didn't want to play their instruments or you know were very tentative holding their instruments down to now you know like Abby holding the trumpet up and playing that call all by herself at a school assembly was amazing Okay, I just yeah. Music tends to be something that you need to be pretty well resourced to be able to do. You need to be able to afford instruments, you need to have opportunities to play with groups, and, and schools do a fantastic job. But it's one of those things that it's not universally available to, to all kids all of the time. And that's where these programs really come to the fore. It's just to provide those opportunities. We were approached by the West Australian Youth Jazz Orchestra and Ania Jarathovich, then worked with Armidale High School to come up with a concept of this project, bringing in the members of Wajo to mentor kids that were learning instruments and then to develop performing opportunities and other experiences for them over and above what the schools are offering. These types of things that can add value to, to existing programs are really where the city sees a bit of a role. We're not duplicating what's going on in the community. We're really adding to it. It's pretty fun, yeah. yeah. Feeling good. Right. Feeling, feeling good. Ecstatic. Yeah. I feel extremely accomplished. Joy. Very tired. Joy, joy and tiredness. How are you tired? It's been a big day. Joy. Right. Joyful. Joyful. Hungry. You're too excited. <laughs> For me, resilience 
is the biggest one because these children can achieve anything that they want to achieve as long as they keep at it themselves and when they don't have a significant other person in their life to give that to them, I think it's really important that you're able to teach these skills. We've seen kids who have just pushed through and pushed through because they can see that they've made that sound on that instrument and then they go to the next level and be able to play that note in a certain rhythm and they're just like laid it up in the way that it's been scaffolded, they now know, okay, if I put the work in, I'm gonna be able to achieve this. It's the whole growth mindset versus fixed mindset. If they can see that by putting the hard work in, not just by having some sort of natural ability, that they can achieve these goals and they know, okay, I can do that with mathematics or I can do that with English or sport, um, visual arts, whatever it is, or anything in life. And when they take that to the workplace, to university, TAFE, vocational education, whatever it is, they're gonna be able to just know that, okay, if I put this hard work in, I'm gonna be able to achieve anything. We'd love to give a thank you to all of the special people that were involved in making this project possible. Uh, with the Armadale District High School, uh, all of the teachers, all of the teaching staff, the music staff, and of course the participants, for whose benefit we're really, really thrilled. Also a big shout out to the, um, the mentors and the teachers from Wajo who are heavily involved in the program, obviously. We hope this is the first of many such projects.